What's happening, my film nerds? David the Film Junkie here, bringing you a Batman vs. Superman video. That's right, you gotta love it when it's Batman vs. Superman. So excited. And fuck this. Fuck this guy. Ah, uh, no, don't fuck this guy. He's a, he's a good guy. Junkie XL. Uh, if you didn't know, he, te uh, he teams up frequently, a lot of the times, uh, with uh, Hans Zimmer. And they are both tackling Batman vs. Superman. And he tweeted this out. Hans and I are going to see the movie for the first time tomorrow. <laughs> Excited, man. Oh, can I get invited? Anyone? God, we all hate you right now, Mr. Tom Hulkenberg. Borg? You're a Borg? Weirdo. Anyways, guys, so yeah, so they got to see the first cut of the film, man. The first cut. And that just means the trailer is just right around the corner because obviously they're making music for it. It's great. And then there's a rumor that's floating around, too, about the story. A little bit of the story of Batman vs. Superman. And it's just a rumor. And if you don't want to hear it because there's potential spoilers in it. But uh, like, it's not confirmed. And it, it won't be confirmed until we watch the movie. But it, this rumor says Jason Todd's uniform is in, is in a display case inside the Batcave. Of course, Jason Todd is the second Robin who got the shit beat out of him by the Joker, killing him, and of course Batman feels guilty for it. In fact, the Joker and Harley Quinn are estranged in Suicide Squad because she feels guilt over the death of Todd. I'm also told that the Red Hood is now a priority character for DC. One more thing, John Wick directors Chad Stalowski and David Le Leith, I guess, you know, it's bad with names, are being courted to direct a DC film. Everything about that rumor, all those rumors, sound fantabulous. I want, I want there to be reference to Jason Todd. I want the guilt to be in within Batman, and I love the fact that it bleeds over to Suicide Squad, and that may be why Harley and the Joker are not really talking much. That'd be awesome. I love that. And then those two directors that directed John Wick, if you haven't fucking seen John Wick, go watch it. If you like action films that are well made, well choreographed, go watch that film. And I would, it would be awesome if they directed a superhero movie. They have it in them. They're a good team. They're coming up. Can't wait to see what their next project is. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think about all that down below in the balls area. What are your thoughts? and everything and also hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribe to my other channel it is down there and visit filmjunkie.com for all my videos all right guys talk to you later